Hi everyone, this is Erica Rowland, the Executive Director of the Greater Level Land Trust, reading We Were Tired of Living in a House. This is my favorite childhood story. It inspired a sense of adventure about being outside and introduced me to the idea that the world, including Maine, is made up of so many amazingly different environments. I also suspect that many of us, at this time in particular, may be truly tired of living, or at least being, in a house. I know I am, and it made me think of this story. This book, written by Liesl Moak Scorpin and illustrated by Doris Byrne, is the original that I shared with my sister and brother back in the days when we spent hours outdoors together. And so the story begins. We were tired of living in a house. So we packed a bag with sweaters and socks and scarves and mittens and woolen caps. And we moved to a tree. We liked our tree. There was always a breeze in the afternoon that rippled through our roof. Above in a branch lived a speckled bird who sang all day for the sake of song. And our roof in the autumn turned scarlet and gold. We liked our tree. Until we tumbled out. So we packed our bag with sweaters and socks and scarves and mittens and scarlet leaves and gold. And we moved to a pond. We liked our pond. We built a raft and floated about among the reeds and lily pads. Below fish darted, dragonflies above, and pond frogs sang with us on summer nights. We liked our pond. Until we sank. So we packed our bag with sweaters and socks and scarves and scarlet leaves and gold, and a frog who was a particular friend. And we moved to a cave. We liked our cave. We slept on beds of cool green moss and hunted for blackberries in the woods. We dipped our water from the brook and roasted walnuts over a fire. When we weren't busy, we explored. We liked our cave. Until we met the bears. So we packed our bag with sweaters and socks and scarlet leaves and gold, and a frog who was a particular friend, and precious stones that caught and held the sun. And we moved to the sea. We liked the sea. We built a castle on the shore from salty water and warm sea sand, with turrets and towers and moats about. We hunted for treasure and dove in the waves and slept to the pleasant songs of the surf. We liked our castle on the shore, but the tides kept washing us out to sea. So we packed our bag with sweaters and scarlet leaves and gold and a frog who was a particular friend and precious stones that caught and held the sun and seashells singing like the surf. And we went home to live in a house. I hope you enjoyed the story and that it sparked fond memories of the past adventures and imagination about those yet to come. All of the environments mentioned in this book are found in Maine, which is not surprising as the author lived in Maine for part of her life, as noted here on the About the Author page. Can you think of examples of each of these environments that you have visited, when, and with whom? Enjoy your days in and out of your house this spring. Thank you.